that's today's lesson all on the watchtower by Bob Dylan hey uh, welcome to guitar lessons fast fun and easy dot com so this is a really easy song and it builds a lot of stamina and endurance in your uh, fingers and in your hand and it's a great jam song it's been around forever all kinds of people have done it uh, and we're even going to add a jam track to it uh, later on so I'm going to show you multiple ways to go about this and then you choose the one that you like best or works best for you uh, okay so I guess we could do a close-up okay this song is in the key of C even though that chord C is never even being used the chords are A minor, and then a G, and an F. Those three. In fact, it even goes in that order. A minor, G, F, and then back to G. It's going to be for four beats, two beats, four beats, and two beats. So, 4 and A minor, 2 and G, 4 and F, and 2 and G again. It just keeps repeating that over and over. Uh, and so I'm going to go uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 1 and 2. And. So down, up, down, up. Whichever you prefer there, whichever works best for you. Uh, and then we're going to G. And there's actually a, a quarter note rest there uh, when I play it. And I will, I'll play it for you in a moment. Uh, uh, but that goes like down, up. And that's one, two, or one, end, whatever you want to say. And there's another rest. You go to F, and it's one, two, three, four, down, up, down, up. Or uh, one and two and again, whichever you like best, and back to G for one two or one and down up. So it's one two three four one two one two three four one two or one and two and three and uh, one and two. However you want to say it. I, I, the, the rests are in there. We would be counting those. I'm not. That's why it comes out the crazy way that I'm counting it. Because it would be like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, with those rests. Okay, so... Uh, there's that way of playing it. Now besides that, we can come up here and do all bar chords if we want. So instead of the A minor, uh, open A minor, and open G, and of course the barred F, we'll come up here instead and play an A minor, E minor form at the fifth fret. Same beat. One, two, three, four. Slide down two frets and change to a G, E form. Two. Down to the F. Up to the G again. So we're going. That's the barred way. The open way is. Uh, now. The next way we can do is, you know when you're making those bar chords like so, at A minor, E minor form, if we take just this note and just this one out of that e, uh, A minor, E minor form, we'll get this A5 chord, also known as an A power chord. And we can play just those two strings, those two notes only. One, two, three, four. All downstroking. Slide that down two frets. 
You know how we had that G E form? Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take just that note and just that one out of that whole chord. Just those two. One, two. Slide that down. We're going to do the same with the F. Excuse me. That would be a G5 or a G power chord. And we slide down to the F. We're doing the same thing. Just those two for an F5 or F power chord. One, two, three, four. Back to the G power chord. One, two. So we're going. So I can do just those power chords like that. We could even do a three string power uh, chord if we wanted to by adding the little finger right here uh, on the fourth string. You can see the frets. I'm on fifth fret here. And the first finger and the sixth string fifth fret. And here's uh, the fifth string, seventh fret, third finger, and the fourth string, seventh fret, fourth finger. And we're just sliding that down. Where I'm at the third fret here, and the fifth fret for these two. So the G5, slide it down. Um, you can see the first fret and third here. So we can do that, a three string power chord or fifth chord. All downstroking. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two. So I want to jam this a little bit and I'll show you one more thing you can do with this. Uh, so there must be some kind of way out of here. Send the joker to the feet. This is all power chords. It's too much. I mean all bar chords. Too much confusion. Can't get no relief. Power chords. Businessmen who drink my wine. Plowmen dig my earth. Gun it down a long line. Knows what the other is worth. Open chords. No reason to get excited. Except, yeah. a little lead break here. You, know, you can take uh, at this point your uh, A blue scale wherever uh, or you can take your C major scale a lot of people don't think you can play the blues in a major scale but my gosh you sure can uh, I actually like jamming on the C major scale to that tune than I do more of the blues scale. But either one of them work. The C major, because remember the song's in the key of C, uh, or the A blues. So a little lead would come there. You could actually also do a lead in the very beginning of the song too. Put a little intro in. Someone, say your friend is going. And then somebody takes a lead to start off with. I kind of like to think Jimi Hendrix did when he did this song. I can put a lead in where I just was, and then it comes into the third verse with... Uh, well, I forgot the words right now, but uh, I stopped. I should have kept jamming on that, but anyway, it's the third verse, and then you end the song maybe with another lead or something. So, something else we can do here with this is octaves. And, uh, you know, when we, uh, when we had that like A minor chord, if we take just this note and just this one, and we'll take this off and move that there. Now I'm on the sixth string, fifth fret, first finger, and the fourth string, seventh fret, third finger. And I'm muting the fifth string here. So I, uh, yeah, it's muted. And I don't want these other strings. They're also muted. So 
So we're playing just those two. Slide it down to a G and an F. Back to the G. I don't care for that personally, but it's something that you can do. Uh, it's, I think it sounds better if I pick it. So I'm going to pick them this one, and then this one, and then this one, and back to that one for a one, two, three, four. Here it gets one, two. One, two, three, four. One, two again. So one guy doing that while another person's going. They sound really great together. And if you have a, a bass playing friend, since your bass guitar doesn't usually have these two first strings, but these last four that the guitar has, you can tell your bass player friend to go to these same two places on his guitar or her guitar and pick that one, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four, one, two, like I did. Wow, it sounds great, that bass uh, bottom in there while guitar players. And if your friend is having a hard time doing that, let's make it even simpler. Just simply tell your bass player friend, or you can go on your bass guitar on the last string, which is the fourth string from this side to that side. Fourth string. To play that uh, fourth string at the fifth fret four times. One, two, three, four. Slide down two frets to a G. One, two. And two frets to an F. One, two, three, four. And back up to that G. One, two. And just keep doing that. Real simple, and it's uh, the root note to those chords that the guitar player is playing. It works great, sounds fabulous together. Uh, so, if you have the bass doing that, or the guitar player doing some rhythm, somebody else is going to be doing the octaves, somebody taking the scale. You got a jam going on, get yourself a singer and whatnot. Be a drummer. I guess that's good for that song. We're gonna have a jam track with this. Uh, let's back out. The last verse goes like this. All along the watchtower, princes kept a view. All the women came to my head. Just simple. Okay, so uh, this tune really builds a lot of stamina, strength and stamina in your fingers and your hand. A lot of people when they first go to do it, uh, they'll go like that so long before, whoo! But if you keep this up, you're going to find that you start doubling your time. Maybe the first time you can only do it for a minute. A week later it's two minutes, and a week later it's four minutes, and after that it's eight, because you do want to build up that stamina, which is going to help you with other songs uh, and other chords, uh, etc. And again, this is a real jam tune. This little five-minute song could be turned into a 55-minute jam if you want to just keep going on it. Uh, again, get yourself a drummer or a drum machine, a bass player, another guy on guitar, a singer or something, and just, just have a blast with this song. Uh, uh, go off on it. 
And so many, if you go on YouTube, you're going to find so many people have done this. Uh, this song just doesn't go away. It's like 40 years old. This doesn't go away. Uh, pretty cool, you know, tune. There's electric guitar versions, acoustic guitar versions. And uh, we're going to have, a, like I said earlier, a jam track with this uh, that you can go and uh, just jam along with it and, you know, help you get better with it and your scales, etc. I hope this helps. This is an easy song. It's a lot of fun. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Please come back again. Uh, bye.